Hello, I'm the Tin Theologian, and welcome back to Nightmares from the Deep 2, The Siren's Call. Now, where we left off, we've got Danny over behind us, bleeding out, but we've got him patched up. Um, his girlfriend, Calliope, is over here, and we're trying to rescue her. We're dealing with Bill Murray over here with his impressive statue of his sharp self. And we've got the Pirates of Innsmouth, <coughs> I mean Kingsmith, trying to stop us. So, I suppose it's about time to get back into things. That's it. Another thing. So now we've got octopi, parrots, and seahorses to find. That's definitely a different take on things. I mean, I'm not against it. I just, that's, that's new and different. The fiend who kidnapped the siren and summoned the kraken. Oh yeah, we're also dealing with a kraken. Which Danny tried to fight with a sword, because he's a brave SOB. Founder of Kingsmith, savior of us all. Something makes me doubt that a little. And maybe the dagger? Okay. I'll have to resort to force. I don't really have anything to force it open right now. I don't want to break my dagger. So let's take a peek around. The newspaper journalist is wanted for crimes against Mayor Murray. The office of the Kingsmith Courier is closed until the offender can be brought to justice for inciting a rebellion against our leader and slandering him with false accusations. Well, that's fun. Alright, I need a key for this, but I found some sort of coin. Alright. Let's just see what's going on. And they're off! Bye, Calliope! It's so shiny! Ooh, fun animation! Coral? Looks like coral. Whoa, that is cool! Man, these sea powers really are, well, powerful. Curfew in effect. The heinous betrayal by my Praetorian, Danny. The theft of Calliope from me and other recent events call for preventative measures. All citizens must remain indoors until further notice. Mayor Abraham Murray. Okay, so I can't call him Bill anymore. I still will. He can't stop me. I have to put the fish in the Unfortunately, that seems to just be food chain order. Hey, I got an achievement! Alright, some sort of hook thing. Hmm. Well, this seems all a bit too much for me right now. Lapidated harbor. Ooh! That's what these hooks are for. I found another seahorse! And I needed that. I know where that goes. Storm the lighthouse. Meet at the Kingsmith Courier office to march in protest against Mayor Murray. Oh, another game that involves a lighthouse. I've been playing a lot of those lately. Alright, uh, I suppose I need to somehow hook that on. I've got a wrench, but I don't have anything to use with it, so... I'm gonna go back to the house. Does this map let me teleport? Yes! Thank you, that is gonna save me so much time. He's gone! And Danny left! Okay. Hopefully that means he's feeling better. It's just because I want to steal him away from his girlfriend doesn't mean, uh... Doesn't mean I wish him harm. It's actually quite the opposite. I'll buy you time to lift the curse. The newspaper journalists and I have been working hard to oppose Mayor Murray. We even secured a few of the golden fish token required to lift the fish curse. 
Finding all of them is the only way to free the siren and strip the mayor of his power. You should investigate our hideout. As for me, I'm going after Murray to end our feud once and for all. I pray you'll be strong enough to I'll be strong enough to save Calliope. No, Danny, don't get yourself killed. Don't do it. No. I hope he's gonna be okay. I like him. He's spunky. Full of piss and vinegar, as they say. Ah, here we go. Alright. I'm gonna do the Mahjong this time around. Alright, and that is that. Excellent. I got lighter fuel. What do I need that for? Oh, yes, because I have gunpowder. Okay. Am I gonna just blow this up? Because that's pretty cool. Alright, but I have lighter fuel, but no actual... ...use. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I still need a key to get in there. Ooh, five cents. Is this five cents? Yes. Good. And I have to refuel the lighter. Perfect. Yeah! I feel like I'm at a rock concert. Explosion time! Oh, that was a disappointing explosion, guys. Find the tokens on the side of the mechanism, apply the video to the plot. Okay. Pretty certain I can do that. And one more? Perfect. Okay. Alright, down to the secret chamber. Whoa, hello! Just got almost jump scared by a monkey. He's pretty cute. Nice animation job on him. The fur is a little weird, but he almost looks lifelike. She, apparently. Okay. I need to find a way to soothe the monkey. That doesn't seem like a euphemism. Another one of these. Oh man. Hey, this one's a little less gross looking at least. Well, well. Someone knew I was getting tired of that high and mighty mare. But you see, I shouldn't talk to strangers. Davy Jones orders. That's good advice, kids. So either you give me one of those golden fish, or that's the end of our little chit chat. Good news is that I have one of those golden fish. Okay, so same basic premise as the last game. I'm gonna see a little movie. A now. long, long time ago, when the golden age of piracy was coming to an end, the town of Kingsmouth was founded by pirates who decided to quit the trade. That's kind of cool. And who had money aplenty and families. The town, considered weird and unpleasant from the start made ends meet until the gathered treasures ran out. So that's kind of cool. They were all pirates who were trying to get away from piracy. That's not a normal way for these things to work. Found some rum. Good, I know who gets that. And a book. Is there a traitor among my Praetorians? Thanks to the Kraken, business is going smoothly. Unleashing the beast on passing ships is easier than working. Oh, so they're welfare pirates. I'm amazed we even tried to live like ordinary men. But not everyone is happy. The Praetorian responsible for guarding Calliope is acting suspiciously. Could the Siren have poisoned him with her voice? See, I told you she just seduced him. I hope he won't try anything treacherous and stupid like kidnapping her. 
Yeah, it is kind of sweet, but I, I still feel like she manipulated him into it. I mean, not to say that it wasn't the right thing to do, but it just it feels a little wrong to me. And I need to find some sort of tile for this. I assume I'm supposed to bring a banana to that monkey at some point. But let's go back and give this guy his rub. Thanks. Come in. Nice. Alright, got into the tavern. Found another hidden object game. More Mahjong for me. And last token. Good, I know that the monkey is probably wanting that. Let's see what's going on here. Take the loose pieces from one panel and place them in the correct slots on the other panels until the triptych is logical and complete. It's a triptych! Alright. Squid, squid, squid. Need a fish. There's the moon. Come on. Work with me here. Lightning. Fish skeleton. There you go, kitty. I know. The mast. That's clever. The anchor was on the anchor. Oh, here we are. And I need one more thing. That wheel. Here it is. Okay. Perfect. Oh, they called me a smart cookie. I got the key. Although we tried really hard, we, the former pirates, weren't able to sustain ourselves as decent fishermen, traders, and farmers. We needed a lot more time to let go of our bad habits. Too bad. Oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just a little dry in here. But Mail Murray was hasty, and at the first signs of Kingsmith's decline, he proposed a plan. Some of the older residents heard about Davy Jones, the mythical sea devil, and feared him as an omen of misfortune. Murray didn't hesitate and struck a deal with Jones, with all our souls at stake. At first, the siren amazed us. Her voice made fish literally swim right into our nets. We were grateful to the mayor and agreed to build our town's fortune on the siren's misery. But we had given free reign to greed, and many residents, including Murray, set their sights on even greater catches. Then the kraken showed up, at the mayor's behest, the beast began to feed. The fish curse came as a punishment for our crimes, whether we were directly involved or just silently complicit with the atrocities that were taking place in Kingsmen. I was marked too. With nothing to lose, I started to lead a rebellion against the mayor. Wow. Okay. So the first game was really focused on love and romance. And while there is a romantic element to this game, I think the main focus of this game is actually on sin. Um, I'll explain that more as we go, but I'm really getting a feeling that's what this is about. Ooh, bar glasses. Hello. Let's find out what's up with this guy. Thanks for the rum. You seem decent enough, so I won't mince my words. We settled Kingsmith to quit the pirate racket and live ordinary lives as fishermen and sailors. But the dream ended when we spent all our ill-gotten treasures in the first Hardships appeared on the horizon. To save us, Mayor Murray signed a pact with that cunning sea devil Davy Jones. As payment, Jones gave him the mermaid siren, Calliope. Murray stole Calliope's flowers, and now he leaves the town with an iron fist. We tried to oppose him, but he was stronger. The only thing left 
best of the good old days are memories like this photo. Take it. I don't want it anymore. Besides, you're blind, so. All right. Wow. Yeah, that really opens my eyes to what is going on in this town quite a bit. I have had my suspicions, like I said. Does this go here? No, I don't think I have anything that belongs here. Um. But yeah, like. They were pirates, so they were committing crimes. And then they decided to get clean. They wanted to break away from their sin, and so they tried to start a new life, but the temptation when things got difficult was too much. That concupiscence, that part inside of them that craved wickedness, that wanted the easier way, took over, and now they're cursed. Interesting. Interesting. I'm actually really intrigued and excited about this. Wow. Alright. Let's get into the newspaper. Just like going home. My parents were both journalists when I was a kid, so this is kind of like... Alright. I can't see anything. Use my lighter. There's a light bulb. Where's the switch? Oh, I actually have to get a new light bulb. Okay. I don't see any light bulbs in here. So I'll come back. Let's feed the monkey. There you go. Yum. Not even peeling it. Alright. Hardcore little monkey. Thanks for the glove. It's fireproof. Am I gonna be sticking my hand in some fire? Am I gonna be doing that? I'm not sure that's something I want to be doing. Gotta fix the lights. Ah, uh, okay, there's a hidden object sitting over here. Alright, and the last two. I like the flashlight, but I really wanted to try to do Mahjong all the way through this time, so. Though I do love those flashlight levels, it just makes it so much harder. Alright, looks better in here already. Ships sunk by the Kraken and looted from Air Murray since 1889. That's really not that many! Like, I understand this is bad. But, he hasn't sunk that many ships. Unless this is an incomplete list. I mean, really, I'd be far more concerned otherwise. Some sort of pirate doll? I have to crash the boat into that. I kinda already figured that part out. Thanks for the tip, though. Alright, I have this photograph. Oh, cool idea. Nice way of doing this. Okay. Put this a little. Oh, man, I'm getting close. Ah, perfect. Alright, a missing symbol. Could it be this rebel symbol? What's over here? Uh, something that needs ink. I don't really have anything to find that with, so I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Oh, hey! Somebody is sleeping over here! Please, sorry. Please tell me he's sleeping. Nope! He's dead. Okay. Oh, it must be the owner! So he paid the price for uncovering the truth about the mayor. Oh my. Okay, let's see here. I need a wind-up key for that. Poor guy. He sleeps among the coral now. That's a little rude and gangsterish. Yes, I've seen that already. It's under the floorboards then. There's the wind-up key. Alright. 
Another coin. Who will lift the curse and overthrow the mayor? The mayor shut down my newspaper for revealing the truth about the fish curse. Although I've proven that it primarily targets those with a rotten soul, of which our mayor is the perfect example, lately the curse has been spreading to all of us, slowly changing us into hideous fish people. To lift the curse, we have to free Calliope. To free Calliope, we have to break down the pact between Murray and Davy Jones. To break the pact, we have to find the 12 golden fish tokens protected by the mayor, his praetorians, and the kraken. I'd say we're done for, but there's still hope. Calliope decided to seek help beyond Kingsmith. There's a woman who broke one of Davy Jones's packs before. I pray she can do it again. That's me! Alright, that's a pretty flower. I wish I could take it with me, but apparently I can't. What's over here? Uh, more find and use items. I kinda like these. They're short, but clever. First, got it. Then paper. Awfully specific. Two four seven. Awesome. All right, bolts. Finally. All right. I don't think there's anything else I need down here right now. What's this? Secret entrance at the base of the lighthouse. Print the complete matrix, it will guide you. Alright, it looks like I'm missing a couple pieces of that. So that's why I need the printing press over there. But, we are just about to get through the next gate. I have a feeling. Yes, I do. Bolts in wrench them bolts on. Alright. Excellent. Let's get interesting. Oh wait, I need a lever. I have a lever! Sweet! Alright. So, up. Awfully complicated for one puzzle, guys. There we go. Up goes the boat! And... Wham! Yes! That was cool! Alright, so the way is clear now. And that seems like a good place to end for the day. So I'll see you guys next week on this, when we're hopefully going to have a little better idea of what happened to Glyphy. Ooh, there's like some sort of shifted bird up there. I'm going to get that when we come back. So I hope you're enjoying this, and I will see you later. Bye.